Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the service in which we honor six members of our congregation for their service to others. If, as Leo Rostin said, the purpose of life is not to be happy, but to matter, to be productive, to be useful, to have it make some difference that you have lived at all. These men and women matter. We may not all get the chance to achieve fame or fortune, but we all do get the chance to make our life count. Gloria Ledger began attending Islington United Church along with about a hundred other worshipers when it was still the little red brick church on Dundas Street. She found the congregation to be a friendly circle for the whole community, not just the church members. In this friendly circle, Gloria learned to smock and to do many other forms of needlework, skills she continues to use and share to this day. Gloria Ledger's reach is global. Through her beautiful handwork, Gloria has had a loving and practical impact on the disadvantaged, not only in our own community, but all over the world. She has knitted and quilted for Welcome Baby and Women's Habitat. She makes cuddly bears, which are distributed by Doctors Without Borders in countries around the world that are torn apart by war and natural disaster. Her bears also bring comfort to poor children in local schools through the Salvation Army and the Young Street Mission. And although she can't attend worship um, as much as she'd like now because of her hearing, She's still knitting bears uh, for all who need them. She's joined the Royal York Road United's quilting group, but instead of quilting, she knits items for street kids here and abroad. And she works on the Linus Project at Royal York Road United. These women create lap robes for nursing homes, as well as crib quilts and blankets, which are distributed to Sick Kids Hospital, Habitat, and the Toronto Fire and Police Services for use during emergencies. And Gloria's also worked at the Doll Club, where she refurbished little treasures for the Scott Mission. Being a Christian means being a giver, and we become better givers when we invest in people, not in possessions. Gloria Ledger has given her time and her talent for over 50 years for people she never knew and will probably never meet. I'm very pleased to recognize her generosity of spirit today by presenting Gloria Ledger with Islington United Church's Order of Islington. Claire Tetmar and her family moved to Etobicoke in August 1966 when they purchased their current home on Burnhamthorpe Crescent, right next door to Stella Miles. Church had always been an important part of Claire's life, so in September, when Stella invited her to attend Islington United, where Stella's husband Andy was one of the ministers, Claire accepted the invitation and thus began 44 years of service, which continues to this day. Claire likes to keep a low profile, and this philosophy is borne out by her long-serving assistance to the Islington Day Club for stroke recovery patients. She's worked in the kitchen providing tea, coffee, and cookie for 10 years. As is the case with the bridge group, the day club participants are a very diverse group who are not necessarily members of Islington United Church. The program offers a wonderful combination of social interaction and exercise for these recovering stroke victims. Claire is proud that she was one of the first women to step into formerly male-dominated roles in the church. She became a visiting elder and then was nominated and elected to become a parish elder. Many years ago, when the male baptism elders were uncomfortable dealing with a single mother baptism, Claire was asked to step in as a baptism elder. Baptisms were held weekly in those days and Claire continued as a baptism elder until quite recently. She credits her husband, Bruce, and Islington's former minister, Reverend Robert Trimble, with tremendous support to her in her service. 
She advises young people who are beginning to volunteer to, quote, do what you like to do and you will enjoy your service and the people with whom you interact. These are definitely wise words from a wise and wonderful woman who's given 44 years of service to the local community and to our church. I am delighted to present my link lady, Claire Tetmar, with the Order of Islington this afternoon. In a sermon in September, Mark stated that anyone who wants to make their life a difference must be willing to put in more than they take out from society, from church, from relationships, from business, and from all walks of life. David Allen's life clearly exemplifies this philosophy. David Allen and his wife Jane joined Islington United Church in the late 1970s. During the past 30 years, while maintaining a credible public sector career, David used his outstanding leadership, organizational, and humanitarian skills to benefit our church community. Looking through the records of various committees over the past 20 years, you will find David Allen's name recurring time and time again. He served on a multi-church committee to establish a marriage preparation course, which was a successful forerunner to our currently quarterly marriage preparation course. In his private life, David chose to work in the not-for-profit sector as an executive for the Canadian Hearing Society, Variety Children's Centre, Roots of Empathy, and the Federal Ontario Association of Public Libraries. He chaired the Community Care Access Organization, responsible for a multi-million dollar budget and for providing transitional restructuring for those in need. The first step in making your life count is learning how to give. David Allen is an organized, thoughtful, compassionate, successful leader who leads by example with a nurturing manner and a positive outlook. We have all heard the benediction which ends with, may you see the face of Jesus in everyone you meet, and may everyone you meet see the face of Jesus in you. That is David Allen. His positive influence on our church is being recognized today with the Order of Islington. Nineteen sixty eight was the year of the hundred and twenty fifth anniversary of Islington United Church. It was the year when the late Dr. Stuart East rode to the church on horseback to recognize the role played by the saddleback preacher in the formation of the church. It was also the year that Hugh and Sally Goodwillie joined Islington United. In 1976, with his wife Sally, he became the founding president of Club 23, a social club for young couples of the church. 34 years later, this club is still going strong, although it is now called the Good Company, and the members, both singles and couples, are not quite so young anymore. For the program of events in 2010 and 2011, Hugh and Sally are once again group leaders within this very active group of hardworking people in our church. He served on the first ministry and personnel committee and is currently the acting chair of what is more commonly referred to as M&P. 
among Hugh's many contributions to the church was serving on the search committee for the Reverend Susan Atwell, and he chaired the search committee for the Reverend Rob Fennell. Hugh Goodwillie's lengthy contribution to church and community is impressive. He is always ready to go the extra mile for a friend or for a worthy cause. He has an infectious sense of humor and a relaxed manner. And these personality traits, coupled with his outstanding personal contribution to the church during these last 40 years, has resulted in his worthy nomination to receive the coveted Order of Islington Award today. Hugo Bully. It was the ambiance of the church and the content of Mark Aitchison's sermon that seemed to speak directly to the needs of May Hutzel and her husband, Ben on a special Sunday early in the spring of 1993. This led to May finding her spiritual home at Islington United. May and Ben joined the church in April 1993, and exactly one year later, their daughter, Nicole, was christened here. In 1999, May took the intensive 50-hour course to be commissioned as a Stephen minister and followed up with another 50-hour course in Stephen ministry leadership and training. To this end, May practiced and taught her Stephen ministry skills to many others over the years to great effect, proving she is a true inspirational leader for us all. In addition to her contribution to Islington United through her Stephen ministry, May also made many presentations to other churches and their members, inspiring and developing leadership qualities in others. Her inspirational outreach to others includes a sponsorship of foster children and of various organizations in Colombia, Ecuador, Kenya, and the Ukraine. This short dissertation of May Hutzel does not do justice to the woman that she is. For surely, she is a woman of great faith, great leadership, and great character. She is a woman of our time. When asked what guides her along God's way, May quoted from Mother Teresa, the fruit of silence is prayer. The fruit of prayer is faith. The fruit of faith is love. The fruit of love is service, and the fruit of service is peace. I might add that the fruit of peace is reward, and we reward May on this day with the Order of Islington in recognition of her outstanding service and dedication to God, to the church, and to our people. Anyone who knows Julie Smith knows that she doesn't waste time making a decision. An article in the Etobicoke Guardian led to the provision of fresh fruit for a weekly children's breakfast program. The funding for the fruit came from the Christmas hamper funds. Julie offered to help show them how to work out of the kitchen and thus was formed Friday's Pancake Breakfast which was funded privately and ran for a year and a half. Julie learned that there were people living in 5005 Dundas Street who were going hungry. This led to another two-day-a-week food program with the cooperation of the Daily Bread Food Bank. 
During her community outreach ministry, Reverend Kathy Diltz identified a black hole in the Maybell community. Three local churches worked together with Toronto Housing to form a Helping Hands Committee to share the work of dealing with some of the more serious deficiencies in the neighborhood. They began by establishing a homework club to assist children to develop good study habits and thus begin to succeed at school. It quickly became evident that there was a need for a food bank closer to home for the residents of Maybell, and Julie committed to being the contact person for a two-year period. She had to implement the food bank following strict city requirements with no funding from the city. Julie brought the plan to church council and it was approved. She completed the necessary paperwork and the food bank was begun. Intended as a temporary stopgap, for people, it provided enough food to last two or three days in an emergency situation. However, four years later, they are still seeing some of the same people regularly. Julie believes that one pair of hands can make a difference. When she learned of the shortage in funding, m &S, she got together with Val Greenfield, Donna Leslie, Virginia Bean, and Carol Bennett to raise $50,000 through rummage sales to reduce our mission and service debt to zero within four years. Together, they recruited a couple of hundred volunteers to share the work of organizing and running the sale of donated goods. Julie's hands and heart have made a difference in the lives of many in our local community and here at Islington United Church. I am very proud to be able to honor her today with the Order of Islington. Julie, please come up. Thank you. On behalf of May, David, Hugh, Gloria, and Claire, I thank you for the great honor you have bestowed on us today. We are thankful to God for the many gifts he has given us and all the opportunities where we have been able to share his great love with others. We would like to thank the nominating committee for their hard work, Naomi, Shalou, and Gero Baylor for creating the beautiful cross we each received today and to everyone who has worked so hard to put this program together. Our hope is that when we leave here today, we all go out and make a difference, every person, every day, not just because we can make a difference, but because we do make a difference. And finally, I'd like to leave you with a Celtic blessing that was given to me by May, one of her favorites. May the amazing love of God the Father the grace and peace of his Son, Jesus Christ, the joy of the ever-challenging spirit, and the hope of the three-in-one surround, encourage, and comfort you this day, tomorrow, forever, and always. Amen. The six people who received the Order of Islington today have served our community with a heart full of grace and a soul filled with love. As Julie so eloquently put it in her acceptance speech on their behalf, we help because we can. For them and others like them, it is as simple as that. Please stand with me and congratulate them as a group. This is a damn good production. <laughs> <laughs>